Hello Internet, this is Root. I'm trying a different microphone. Well, I've had this thing for a while, it's just I rarely fucking use it. Well, it was mainly used to capture audio on one of two keyboards that can record audio or sample it for three seconds or a second and a half, regardless. Uh, wanted to bring up a little lesser known thing the fringe to our pre the anti globalist faction if you didn't know and I will link this as a source and no it's not the original definition it's what they actually coin the word globalist is actually an anti Semitic slur that's what they use it's co word for the Jews. How I found this out, they did a little research and a little bit of reading. Actually, a lot. And also, because I was, well, I listened to alternative radio from time to time on CIUT. And uh, Naomi Klein mentioned that. Oh, yeah, she's, she spoke out against the fringe. So, yeah. And I also, she also spoke out on Democracy Now! also, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Is the fringe completely anti-Semitic or anti-Semite? I hope I'm saying it correctly. Forgive me if I didn't. Probably very much yes. There's also those outside of the fringe, the far right. I tend to be centrist, so I tend to view it from both sides. And I likely don't even get involved in this shit. But... I just thought I'd mention that. I remember during my involvement in the fridge, you know, long before I escaped, I kept hearing that all the fucking time. Globalist this, globalist that. Go after the globalists, attack the globalists. Kill them. Yes, I've actually heard that shit. I didn't know what they actually meant. This is only long after I escaped did I know what that actually meant. And I'm just glad, uh, well, if I was Jewish, I'd be horrified to figure out what that actually meant, but I'm not. And I feel for everyone who is Jewish, especially for those that got somehow recruited into the fringe and eventually made their way out once they figured out what that meant. Props to you if you did escape. And you did escape with your rationality intact. As did I, luckily. Although, not everybody did. There are quite a few still trapped in that cult. It's dangerous. It's extremist. It's delusional. You know what I'm talking about. Batchet conspiracy theories aren't real. And they never will be. So, just thought I'd make a video about that. And they called them out. Again. Yeah. It sucks. That they think Jewish people run the entire world. No, they don't. Humans run the entire world. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Humans. Each and every one of us pretty much run our own little tiny percentage of the world. We live on this fucking planet. Others do too. But I'm not going to get into that. Reality sucks. That's all I got to say. Oh, if you don't like this video, you got offended, that's too bad. There's always something else to watch. Click away. Hit Alt F4. Press Control Shift Delete. Select since the beginning of time or from install date. Clear data. Not hard to do. You can also turn off your YouTube viewing history. You can always dislike the video. It'll never show up in your feed ever again. And in some cases, it'll take it out of the browser history too. Found that out by mistake before doing that. Yeah. Watched something drunk, hit the wrong button, couldn't find the goddamn video. That's what happens. 
or you can just forcibly unplug your machine. Well, that's actually not really a bad idea. Actually, not a very good idea, really. All right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace. Thank you for watching. And again, props to anyone who managed to escape the cult with the rationality intact.